Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to change the oil in your scooter, your bike, your motorbike. Uh, this is a PCX 125cc. You're going to need um, some good engine oil, four cycle engine oil. 10W-30 and it should say mineral oil in English. You're going to need um, tools, a ratchet with a 12 millimeter socket. Attach it like so. And, or you're going to need this type of tool. It says 12. It's also a 12 millimeter. So either one will do. And let's go around. You're also going to need a container, or uh, in my case, uh, a box. Uh, that's just for the oil to drip into and in case I drop the nut while uh, unscrewing it, it'll fall into this uh, box. Okay, then let's get right to it. Also, a good pair of gloves to keep your hands clean. Container under this nut. Make sure it's hot. Okay, now I've got my socket in my ratchet. Set it to counterclockwise. Counterclockwise, which is going that way. Okay. And let's just go under the bike. Here it comes. Okay, I'll use my fingers. Just use my fingers. Almost, almost. That's mm. done. As you can see, the nut is really loose, so another turn or so it'll come out there as you can see it's still coming out okay. I'm gonna make sure that most of the oil is out okay here is the nut uh, for the bottom of the scooter going to clean it just with a paper towel. Clean it good. So this is a nut bolt with the washer. So don't lose the washer after uh, removing it. Clean it and then put it back under the scooter. So I'm going to do that next. Here it is. I'm going clockwise to tighten it. Okay, now it's not 100% secure, so now we get our uh, ratchet and socket. Okay, now it's nice and tight and ready to add oil. I'm going to remove this little cap back here right now. This is called the dipstick. This is the dipstick. I just cleaned it. 
Okay, this is of course uh, uh, to see how much engine oil you have. Okay, and I'm going to add some oil. <laughs> I'm in luck. Um, I was looking for a little funnel for this. Um, I bought this online and it just came as is. No cube. Um, see, here in Japan, when you buy one of these, you can get one of these free tubes and then it's easy to uh, add oil with it. But not in this case. So luckily I have one of these. This was for my uh, kerosene tank, which I never use. Let's try it out. Just do it slowly. Would you look at that? It's working. It's not leaking at the bottom. Looks like I'm done. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Okay, get the towel and quickly catch the end of it so that it doesn't drip all over the place. Okay, set this aside. Okay, and the last thing to do is put this cap this dipstick back in here. Turning clockwise. Okay, and that's it. Hope you liked my video. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Thanks for watching. Bye.